hello friends so today we will understand graph between pressure and volume of ventricle that is left ventricle specially so what are the changes in the volume and pressure in the left ventricle during a normal cardiac cycle so we have here x-axis and y-axis on x-axis we have left ventricular volume in ml okay and in y-axis we have left intraventricular pressure in mm of hg now if we start our cardiac cycle if you haven't seen my video go check out that video so cardiac cycle starts with isovolumetric or isometric contraction where our ventricle acts as a closed chamber so the pressure rises from 5 mm of hg to 80 mm of hg but volume is constant here okay so we have maximum volume that is 120 ml but pressure is about 5 mm of hg so starting of isovolumetric contraction we have suppose here it is 5 mm of hg okay so and volume is here 120 mm so this is the starting of our isovolumetric contraction now our ventricle is a closed chamber so there will not be any change in the volume volume will be constant but pressure suddenly rises from 5 mm of hg to about 80 mm of hg like this so pressure rises 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 up to 80 mm of hg okay here the pressure of ventricle surpasses the pressure of our aorta that is the pressure of ventricle is more than the pressure of aorta so this our aortic valve will get open and the blood is ejected out of ventricle with a force that is rapid ejection and we have a new phase here so in rapid ejection the pressure is increasing but volume is decreasing because volume is being pumped out of ventricle into aorta so we have reduction in the volume okay volume is reducing but pressure is still increasing and it increases up to 120 mm of hg so here we have increase in the volume sorry increase in the pressure but decreasing volume after that we have slow ejection phase here in slow ejection phase our pressure is also decreasing and volume is also decreasing pressure decreases up to 100 mm of hg and volume is decreasing still decreasing up to 50 ml is remaining into ventricle we have pumped almost 70 ml and now when we have only 50 ml inside ventricle there is a closure of our aortic valve so here i saw volumetric contraction ends and in the starting of ejection phase we have opening of of aortic valve but here after the ejection phase the pressure of this aorta increases or surpasses the pressure of ventricle and so this aortic valve gets closed and this will produce second heart sound okay after that we have closed aortic valve to here we have a closed aortic valve isometric contraction is over and ejection phase is over then new phase started where again our left ventricle is a closed chamber there is no change in the ventricular volume but pressure suddenly drops because now the ventricle is going into isometric relaxation that is isovolumetric relaxation where volume suddenly sorry pressure suddenly drops from 100 mm of hg to approximately 3 mm of hg here so this phase is isometric relaxation where pressure suddenly drops from 100 to 3 mm of hg but volume is constant and now the pressure is lower than the pressure of atria that the atrioventricular valve will get open av valve opens okay so here we have opening of av valve because the pressure of this ventricle is even lesser than the pressure of this atria when the pressure of this ventricle falls even below the atria the atrioventricular valve gets open and so the blood collected in the atria will inflow into the ventricle and 
this will be first rapid inflow or first rapid filling in which pressure is still decreasing but volume now starts to increase because we have incoming of the volume from our atria so pressure is still going down but volume is increasing so we have graph like this pressure goes almost to zero this is our first rapid inflow where pressure decreases but volume increases after that we have diastasis where pressure remains almost same remains almost zero but volume is still increasing this is our diastasis phase this is first rapid inflow this is diastasis after that we have atrial systole where pressure slightly rises from 0 to approximately 5 mm of Hg this is our atrial systole so pressure rises from 0 to approximately 5 mm of Hg and volume is still increasing when the atrial systole ends there is a closure of atrioventricular valve but because because now our ventricle is going into contraction so the pressure in the ventricle now starts to rise and so here we have closure of AV valve and this will produce first heart sound okay so this is our diagram this is our graph so here we have first heart sound and here we have second heart sound this distance this is this is our stroke volume distance from here to here that is from 15 50 ml to 120 ml this is our stroke volume of 70 ml okay, so now i have a question for you Chorot of sound is heard option a with first heart sound option b with second heart sound option c in between first and second heart sound or option b in between second and first heart sound suppose we have a patient and we are measuring blood pressure of that patient so this is our cuff of stigma manometer okay this suppose it this is our artery blood vessel okay and we are measuring the blood pressure here so if we zoom out this artery we have such kind of flow in the artery This is called as laminar flow. When the pressure inside the cuff increases and if it surpasses the systolic pressure, that is suppose we have ideal patient and his systolic pressure is 120 mm of Hg. Suppose we increase the pressure inside the cuff more than 120 mm of Hg. So here we have closed vessel now because pressure of heart cannot surpass this pressure which is more than 120 mm so here our vessel is closed when the pressure will be equal to 120 mm of Hg after that when it drops below 120 this will get open and it will start to open up so here less than 120 mm of Hg we have our vessel is like this so now the blood flow is flowing like this and this will produce turbulence okay so this so this is turbulent flow Because of this turbulence, there will be the production of sound. We will heard a sound and that is called as Korot cough sound. So now if we study this graph again, we have this curve which is present between 80 to 100 mm of Hg and we have 120 mm of Hg also here. This is the part of graph which is present between first heart sound and second heart sound. See, direction of graph is like this. 
we cannot change the direction there will be never a direction like this we will always have this direction that is anti clockwise direction in the graph so the porotkov sound will be heard in this portion so it will be present between first and second heart sound so this is our answer